Hey, it's Squad. Welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool image around here. And basically what this is, is the Force Air Climate Comfort System. And it's from the brand called Bet Jet. So if you guys don't know what this is for, it's basically supposed to help you guys cool down or heat up your bed. So this product is actually pretty cool to use for all season, whether it's like the winter season or summertime, you guys can use it whenever you guys want. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so first thing inside right here, they do probably got instruction manual to teach you guys how to set up and how to use it. And right underneath that, if you can see, we do have a lot of stuff. So let's take it all out. So first thing right here, they probably got the remote control. So you see there's a lot of options and settings on here. And when you guys open the back, it does require battery and they do include the battery for you, which is two AA batteries. So let's put the batteries in first. All right, let's put that on the cover. And I'm gonna peel this part out. Once you guys put the battery in, you can see the product definitely does work, but because we don't have anything to connect it yet, I can't really test this out. So I'll show you guys how to use this in a second. So next thing that we got right here, they call this the mattress mount base. And for this part, it has the full material. So you guys probably want to put it onto your mattress something, but we will figure out this in a second. But you see on the actual product, they do have the brand logo as well, which is pretty cool. Next thing that we got right here, they give you guys the height extension option if you guys need to extend it longer. And next thing that we have right here, they give you guys a grip option that can grip the actual hose. And on the side right here and on this side right here, they do give you guys a clamp option if you guys want to clamp your bed sheet or something. And next thing right here, they probably got the air nozzle option. So this is where the air is going to be blowing out when you guys do set up. And for the other part right here is where you guys want to insert into the hose. And top right here, they also have the brand logo. And then once you guys take off this part, in the bottom we do have the actual product. So let's take that part out as well. So right here, we see we do have the hose option. So we have to take it out. Here is basically what the hose looks like. So if you guys want to extend it, it actually goes pretty far, if you can see. And if you guys want to push it back in, very easy for it to put it away as well. And last but not least, we do have the actual main product. So let's take it out. So once you guys take it out, and we see how the product is all nicely wrapped up. So let's take out the wrapper as well. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So on this side, we do have the filter option and they do have the brand logo right there. So if you guys do need to take it out, you basically want to push on two buttons on the side and that will let you guys take it out. So just like this. So that is basically what the filter looks like inside if you guys need to replace it. But once you guys are done, you can put it back in. So that is the filter option. Here is basically what the top part looks like and they also have the brand logo right there. If you guys turn on to this side, here is basically where the air is going to be blown out when you guys do turn it on and set it up. You can see right here, they do have the power button and the other button right here as well. And they do have the indicator light to show you guys when it's on or off. And right underneath that, you can see we do have a USB option. And top over here, they do give you guys a warning label. If you guys do end up using like more than one of these, you do want to follow the instructions. And then right here is basically what the bottom part looks like. And you see how they do have like the non-slip material. So that way when you guys do put it on the floor, it won't move around. And then for the other side right here, right here we do have the cable. And the cable is a two-prong option, if you see right there. So the one that we got right here is the basic one that allows you guys to use for a single bed. So whether if it's like twin size, queen size, or full size, it only gives you guys a coverage for one side of the bed if you guys do get like the bigger ones. So if you guys do want the coverage for both sides, you do want to get like two of these or you can get the other option available as well. So for this test, I'm going to use my twin size bed to show you guys what it actually looks like. But before we do that, let me actually put everything together to show you guys what it looks like once you guys do set it up. So the first thing I want to do is insert this part right here and lock it in. Once you guys do that, then you guys adjust this part right here in terms of how you guys want it. So whether you guys want to bend it, or if you guys need to pull this, how you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. And when you guys set this up, you guys can put this flat down on the floor. But basically for the other side right here is where you guys want to put in the air nozzle, which is this part right here. So let's insert it in. Here is basically what the part looks like. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to use any of the other accessories that I showed you guys in the beginning, you guys can definitely use that as well. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now I'm just gonna set this up and test it out to show you guys how it works and when it works first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have the product all plugged in. So what I'm doing right now is to turn it on in the bottom. So the way how you guys turn it on is by pressing the power button right here. And then once you guys do that, you guys wanna connect it onto the remote. So you see right here we do have the remote. So it's all ready to connect. So you basically wanna follow the instruction to set everything up if you guys want to now or later. All right, so we got it all set up. Let's test it out. Let's try the cooling option first. All right, 
So you see when we do turn it on, the product definitely does work. So right now we're blowing cold air into the actual product. And you do have the option to increase or lower the actual fan and also the temperature if you guys want to as well. So just like this. And if you guys want to lower the fan, you guys can definitely do that on here as well. So right now we have it 30%. If you guys turn on turbo mode, it will heat it up, but we want to use the cooling option. So we don't want to turn on the turbo mode right now because it will heat up pretty fast. And because of how hot the actual environment is, I do want to use the cooling option. So let's turn back on the fan first. All right, so we got it back on. And see how strong the fan is blowing into my blanket? So right now the temperature that's in the actual bed is 72 degrees, but we set it to 66 degrees. So definitely see how the actual product is cooling really fast when you guys do actually use it. And obviously when you guys use the product, you do have the option to use it before or after you guys sleep. Or you can also use it while you guys are sleeping as well. But probably when you guys are using it while you guys are sleeping, you don't want to turn the fan too high. You guys want to turn it down to the lowest setting. Let me actually try to feel inside to see how it feels first. Alright, so once we hop on, I can definitely feel the cooling effect that's on here. It actually feels super nice. So based on what I mentioned on here, the temperature is 67 degrees inside. I can definitely feel like that cooling effect. So let's turn it off and see what happens. So I still feel that cooling effect even after we turn it off. But I feel like if we do keep it on, it actually feel a lot better, especially like throughout the night. So what you probably can do is keep it on, but don't turn the fan too high. But the product definitely does work, which is pretty cool. And also for the product, it does give you guys the option to connect on the Bluetooth which is basically this app right here, the Bed Jet 3 Smart Remote. So let's download it and try it out. All right, so right here we do have the app. Let's connect it. All right, so it told us to press the low power button. Let me press it first. All right, so it told us to press again. You can see it lights up and now we have it on. And right here it told you guys to set the Wi-Fi. So let's do that first. All right, so we got connected. So now you can use everything on here that's basically the same as remote. So let's turn it on. All right, so we see the product definitely does work. And we see when we do set the product, it keeps falling. So that is basically where the actual accessory comes in handy. Let me show you how to set it up. All right, so we basically need to use a accessory that's provided for you guys that I showed you guys earlier. So let's stick it on. You basically want to stick this underneath your bed. So just like this, all right? So once you guys do that, now you guys have something sticking out right here. And pretty much what you guys are gonna stick right here is this part. So just go like this. And now you do have the option to hold something in here. So just like this. So we have to put it in now. And if you gotta try again, now it works so much better and it won't fall off. So that is basically where the accessory comes in handy if you guys do need to use it. And then here is basically what the product looks like when you guys do set it up. So if it's too high, you do have the option to take out each different section on here to make it lower if you guys do want to. But here is basically what the product looks like once you guys do set it up. And you see everything on here definitely does work. Welcome right, back guys. So now it's a quick test of product and definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. So like I mentioned the way how they designed the product is actually pretty cool because it will help you guys either cool down or heat up your mattress or your bed which is perfect regardless of the season, whether if it's hot or cold, it doesn't matter. And when you guys do set the product and actually use it, if you guys can see our remote control, it's so easy to control everything on here. Whether if you guys want to use the timer option, the cool option, the heat option, or turbo option, you do have all those options available. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we become boxing and testing product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality cooling system that also give you guys like a heater option as well to heat up or cool down your mattress or your bed before you guys actually go to sleep. Then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.